When I was a young boy in school, I often asked God, why am I here? How can I make my life count? He answered my prayers. Years later, I founded the Yellow Ribbon Project and the Dads for Life movement in Singapore. My role is to assist the Lord in helping students lead purposeful lives beyond the classrooms. I carry out research on viruses and use the research findings to develop better medicines and vaccines to combat viral diseases. You don't need to be rich to improve the lives of others. Just your willingness and importantly, your time. Time, the greatest gift from God. I've helped to give art lessons to people with learning disabilities, giving them a creative platform to communicate their feelings through artistic forms of expression. I have a need, the need to feed the world with our world-class UNESCO Hawker Food Culture. One of my guiding principles is to always leave something better than when you first found it. As a youth leader and translator for the Josephian Family Missions in Cambodia, I help bridge the communication gap so that we can deliver quality Lasallian education to primary school kids there. Catholic values of love and compassion embedded in the way I live have made it difficult navigating the corporate world especially in banking. But looking back, that has made all the difference. Education will help you pass a life of tests, but an education steeped in faith, service and community will help you pass the tests of life. I protect the most disadvantaged migrant workers because they are unable to protect themselves. I believe that Singapore should be a fair and just place for all who live and work here. Duty to God, duty to country and helping others are the ideals of Scout. As a consultant for the World Organization of Scout Movement, I strive to impart and remind these values to our younger generation. Happy and proud to have been given the opportunity to contribute to the United Nations peacekeeping mission in Timor-Leste. I remember a listener wrote to me about having detected early stage breast cancer because she listened to one of my shows about health screenings. And another listener said he detected early stage nose cancer. That's huge, early stage. It taught me the power and the strength of communication is so vital and I will never take it for granted. I want to help mitigate climate change by helping to recycle all lithium batteries, especially those in our electric vehicles. Despite our own challenges, we can always encourage and inspire others. I remember Brother Joe McNally in his uh, birthplace at County Mayo in Ireland, at the county seat of Castle Bar in the Irish National Museum to Country Life we erected an enlarged version of one of his sculptures called Councillor Two in his honour, thanking the Irish people for the gift of the Irish brothers to Singapore and to Malaysia. They dedicated their lives to our education and they helped to make us who we are today.